Let's see if this works. Hey, I think it's working. Pokey pokey. Hey, can you hear me? Um, can you hear me through Twitch? I might just like talk through Twitch instead of um. I can hear both like you talk. and me. Okay, can you hear me now? I can hear both. You oh, I guess if it, then you should just mute the stream and I'll talk through Discord. Uh, yep, that's that's my plan. I'm just curious how much latency there is. A few seconds. I turned down like, the latency as much as it would go, so. I was gonna say like like two seconds, maybe one or two seconds. That's doable. So do you think maybe you could three. keep an eye on the chat for me? And yeah. let me know if anybody types anything? Yeah, I can I do just it. don't wanna, I hate when I forget to do that and then end up ignoring people and then they leave the stream because we're like, wow, this person's a fucking yeah. asshole. Okay. Okay, let's do random partners. Rando Bando. Rando Bando. I like how we just make up slang and pretend as though it's what we actually say. I mean, that's really all slang is. I mean, yeah, but like, we'll just say it confidently like we've been saying this and it's the first time. Nice. Oh gosh, I'm in, in with a bunch of um five stars. Ooh boy. Oh, I have two viewers. I wonder if uh, Allison is watching. I'm gonna ask her. I don't see how she could since she has bed bugs. Well, oh my god, I fucking hate random queuing. People just fucking leave. It's so annoying. Here we go. Now I got some four stars. Someone's using a cross busy. Cross busy. Tell you who, but I can't see their face. <laughs> yeah, I've been wanting to get a new, um, a new legendary hunter, but I, like... I can't decide which one. 
I like that one that comes with a choke bomb. Which one, that? With the cool mask. That's not very specific. Most of them have cool masks. Um. Oh wow, does this one have, uh, what is that skin condition called? Vit vitil. It starts with a V. I can't remember the name of it. Vitara? No. Hold on. I gotta look it up now because I can't remember. Her name? Yeah, Beatata, but like the name of the skin condition. Name. I'm talking. <laughs> Hold on. It's like La Luz Ma. It's called Vitiligo. Vit Vitiligo. You know, where, um, like you have like some patches of skin that are like darker, like melanin tone and some that are like pale. Oh, vitiligo. That's what I just said. You said it weird though. I said vitiligo. V-I-T-I-L-I-G-O. Yeah, vitiligo. Okay, vitiligo, whatever. Well, uh, I, <laughs> you didn't know what I was talking about, so don't act like you're so smart. No, because I didn't understand what you were saying because I hadn't I heard said, it pronounced that way. Now that I know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, but at that? first I just said that condition. I described the condition and said it starts with a V. And you still didn't oh. get it. So. I thought you were talking about a hunter. And I, I was thought saying you said... that hunter with... Anyway, okay. Anyway, all I'm saying is I that's, that's cool. Part. That's cool that they got some uh, representation in the in the legendary hunter stuff. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm where's my albino? Cool. Where's your albino? Yeah, where's my albino hunter? I don't know, John. I'm offended on behalf of albinos. There are plenty of white hunters. <laughs> That's not the same thing. You're not albino. What are you talking about? I said I'm offended on behalf, on behalf of albino people. Okay. That's what most people are, are, or how most people are offended are on behalf of someone else these days. Let's be realistic. I mean, it definitely happens sometimes, but there's definitely people who are offended on behalf of themselves. Oh, sure, sure. I'm just saying there's a lot of people being offended on other people's behalf. Let's not get into, into cancel culture. <laughs> Oh, I mean, that's that's a whole other thing in and of itself. But yeah, let's not touch it. Anyway, um... So, so why aren't there any albino hunters? That's all I want to know. Yeah, I want to know why there aren't any uh, trans hunters. <laughs> um, how do you know there aren't? How do you know there aren't any albino? That have because just dyed their hair. Can... Yeah, that's what I thought. Because albinos have creepy looking eyes. <laughs> wow. I mean, <laughs> spoken like a true non albino. <laughs> anyway, I just, um, I want to get a new legendary hunter. I can't decide which one to get. I think we need a, a, a two, the thing where you got like a green and a blue eye. Uh, heterochromia. That's what it's I called. I don't know. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Oh my god, that makes sound right. Because I hetero is like, you know, different or whatever. So right. like different eyes. Homochromia would be if you have uh, You got gay, gay eyes. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I like how both our brains went there. <laughs> well, he looks attractive. Wait, I'm not even into guys. What? You just got gay eyes. Stupid gay eyes. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oof, this is intense. 
Oh, yeah. Got a hit. Push. Wow, what the fuck was that? <laughs> what is what weapon does my teammate have? I don't know what that was. Lol. You see that? You see that shit? Um You see that fucking headshot I got? Is that Ooh. a no? Oh, yeah, that's I forgot it's sad. Forgot there's a delay. That seems like a pretty significant delay. It is because my uh, thing did the, the thing. It's not live. You're, like, delayed. Yeah. Well, I get live, to... bro. I need to reset or restart. Or not restart, but refresh it. Hey, that should be closer. I just saw you ping. See you throwing bees? Yep. Oh, wow, you're pretty, uh, it's pretty low latency. Yeah. It just needed a refresh. Thought you had that. I know. Both your teammates still up? Yeah. What are they doing? I don't know. with another guy apparently it's a big party everyone's invited party Pushing with shotgun, let's go. He's running. Jeez. Oh, my Twitch froze. No, what happened? Just froze, so now I'm all delayed. I'm reset. We'll leave. We launch me. There we go. Did y'all get all of them? Uh, I think that was only two. I'm not sure. Um, I gotta go check and make sure the one I killed is sold down. 
It's hard to keep track of everybody. Where was this guy? partnering people saying uh they said he asked if he could get the loot and because he needs heals Ooh, loose and go let's fucking go whoops did you find is that a moose i think that's a moose a hard time telling okay. between the moose and the crag Wait, do you remember what it was called? The uh, Bone Verse. The Bone what? The Boneverse. The Bone Bone Verse. Okay. Yeah, I, I was not sure. Wait, no. There is a Bone something Mosin. I have it. That one, then that's probably what it is. Bone verse. Yeah. Bone Vivi. Bone Vivi. Bone Vivi. Bone Vivi. Kind of like uh, Ko Fifi. I, I think it's supposed to be like Ko Fifi. Ko Fifi was Anna. like. It's, um, the, Trump had like tweeted coffee but spelled it wrong and yeah, then like, funny. QAnon made a thing about it. <laughs> <laughs> like it was some code. Right. Good shit. Oh man, Trump was standing next to a car in a photograph and the license plate had a Q on it. It's happening! JFK Jr. <laughs> yeah. Him, that guy. Which is so funny, like, the, the, this idea that, like, JFK is, like, not actually dead and that he's coming back and going to, like, save the Republican Party or something like that. I don't know the whole thing, but it's like... Not JFK. Yeah. JFK Jr. Or, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Um, and it's like, y'all know he was, like, a Democrat. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, aside from the fact that he's not alive. Well, I mean... <laughs> I mean... There's that. There's that. I mean, just on all levels. On, on every level, it makes um, little sense. Are you really gonna let a little thing, like, being alive or not? I know, I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. What what are you a lifeist? Are you lifeist? <laughs> wow, Jen. <laughs> Real tolerant. <laughs> and you call yourself an alibi. <laughs> an alibi? <laughs> an ally. Is like, that slang for albino? No, like an ally, like a like like cause ally gators. I think I'm an alibi. Alibi. alibi gators? I don't think that's... Oh, I think geez. they're either straight gators or gay gators. They're, they're either straighters or you gators. You gators. Or, yeah, gators. Gators or straighters. There's not oh, any alibi, alibi gators. There's no such thing as an alibi gator. So, um, the new map, apparently, is coming next year, 2024, getting the new map. They also, um, announced plans to, um, they're gonna add, like, a roaming boss, at least, or, like, they're gonna add, like, roaming bosses, like, starting with one, obviously, but, like, it's gonna be a thing. I... I want to see how they implement it. 
Yeah, it's definitely. Because what does roaming be mean? Does that mean from compound to compound, or does that mean? I would imagine it means like like around like outside of a compound. Is, is my right? My like guess. roamed around one compound area, or like around like a wood and or like a forest in between compounds. That's what I would think. Right, but my question is like, for instance, um, the map is sectioned off by compound sections, not yeah. just the compound itself, but like the whole section. Yeah. So, would it be limited to one section? I, I honestly don't know. Um, because I would think you would go either along board the borders, or you'd maybe do multiple border lines. Yeah. And, and do like say a, a chunk of three two or three compounds together it could spawn at it or that it could wander yeah around. i'm curious how they're gonna do it uh too i, I they haven't really you, offered many hints about it otherwise how do how do clues work well yeah that's the thing i don't know if clues will be even useful if, if, if i don't know like i think the main question is like is it going to be like like a boss or like a side boss like a bonus boss, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Like, is it That's gonna be in one of the icons on the top left, or is this gonna be like in addition to the bosses? That you know? maybe you get like a, a small bounty token if you kill a roaming boss, or, or maybe something. just like straight up cash and flip bots or something. I mean, who knows? We really cannot say at this point. And that would be something. Well, I would think it would be rather than just straight up. Uh, blood bonds or hunt dollars. I think a small, like maybe one that doesn't flash or something. One that doesn't um, flash? What do you mean? You know how the lightning strikes oh, the bounty? Gotcha. Maybe like not doing that. But if you kill somebody and loot them and they had like killed a roaming mini boss or whatever they are. You could still lift the the mini boss token, bounty token, off of them and still get a reward. Whereas if they yeah. got hunt dollars or blood bonds, you don't get any of that. Yeah, no, that is that is true. That I, I think it should be something like that. It should be basically a new bounty type. Right, right, like a small bounty. Yeah, I'm interested to see how yeah. they do it. Oh, so you know what's coming with the uh, the new update? So in addition to the damage log of outgoing damage there's some new weapons yeah. so the first um oh excuse me hold on the first uh medium silenced rifle gonna be the uh, like silenced silenced centennial shorty also just like a regular um centennial shorty too right which is cool. I'm trying to remember the other ones. So that, that's like the main, the main ad. They're also changing this compound weeping stone, like minorly. There's going to be like a um, an underground area, which I'm excited oh. for because I love underground areas. Let's yeah, see yeah. if you can see on my screen. It's going to be. Let's see. I think um, I'm this... not. I'm not at my. I'm outside at the moment. Uh, I left my switch on upstairs. Wow. Sorry. Well, you know Weeping Stone, um, you know yeah. the compound Weeping Stone. So like, well, it's the one with the uh, the water wheel. Right. So on the, I want to say like the south, and, south and like east. Blood River, right? And what now? And the little Blood River. Uh. Or is it blood or is it just gut? I don't know. Blood River. I don't. I think you might. Be I think you might be thinking of a uh, port, port river fishery or something. I'm not sure actually. Let me see. I don't think it's a blood or guts river. I think it's just water. Does it have? Wait, does Weeping Stone have the White House on the hill? Yes, the White House on the hill. So on the on, you know how there's on the southeast side there's the lake, right? That you can approach from. You approach from the lake, and it's like there's a lower level. Well, that basically there's going to be an underground area that you can access from that side. Which is going to be cool. east. Let me think. Um, Are you smoking a cigarette or something? No, no, I'm back upstairs. Oh, I just okay. got back up. Well, hold on. See, I'll just show you on my screen. So right down here. See, like that, that okay, area right there. Okay, yeah. 
Is there is this the place that has like a little a white house over on the I think it's the north side? Um yes, yeah, this is the place. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I was thinking. Yeah. So there's just gonna be an extra level, they're just expanding the compound to get it bigger. So that's cool. Pretty exciting. I need to look uh I wanna see what the other changes. I can't remember all the changes. Let's see. Okay, patch notes, let's see. Oh, there's a new uh, a new thing that uh, spawns called saddles. So um, you can so you find- can get on the dead horses? No. So they spawn on either dead horses or these little fence post things. But it basically right. is like a, like a toolbox. They contain a consumable, and or a uh, random weapon spawn. Weapon? Yeah. So you like, can basically find like weapons and like holsters on dead horses. And like okay. consumables. So, like explosives. And is that like the all the way dead horses or like the dying horses? Uh, the dying ones, the ones that make noise. So you gotta like pop them and. Yeah, exactly. That's, That's cool. cool. Yeah. It's a neat little addition. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. much further than. Wait, what's up? Okay, they're not that far, but they're like way ahead of ya. Yeah, they're not that far ahead. They're, they're, they're running away, they're being. No, they're fine. I'm gonna be okay. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, yeah, let's see. I'm gonna look at these. Set it to where I can just run straight to the extract without looking at my screen. Okay. Uh, okay, fixing the reload reload bug, obviously. I'll let you know if you need to like do anything. Uh, it should be okay. I can see my screen. Um, they're gonna make it uh like fix the empty lobby issue, like where we were having a ton of empty lobbies. So it's gonna mm -hmm. prioritize just putting anyone in the map if it can. Like as opposed to like, you know, going through an empty lobby if it can't find anybody similar skill level. So I think they're doing away with the skill-based map right now. Which is cool. Got up for your friends. Okay, so, oh, they added a tutorial, so they, um, there's a literally a, a voiced tutorial that, like, uh, so you have this guy who's voiced by the person who voiced Geralt in The Witcher, and it's, like, basically, like, a, it's, it's almost like a level of, like, a campaign, and it's pretty, um, pretty cool. I, I played it on the test server and it was really, uh, really neat. It would be cool to get like a little campaign mode. Yeah. yeah. A short campaign. It's definitely, definitely fun and, it, and it's going to be good for like new players. Like it explains kind of like all the things like, uh, like all the mechanics that the old tutorial didn't explain. Like, like, birds like and animals and yeah, yeah exactly. So it's really neat. Um, what is it? Poops and gauges? So, let's see. So let's see. Um, yeah, we got the combat log that's going to show outgoing damage, which is cool. Oh, uh, the equipment screen. So legendaries will no longer be shown as separate items which will reduce clutter on the screen. Like you won't have a bunch of separate items for different legendaries. It'll just be the main item and then you can select the little, uh, select the skin or whatever. It's gonna be so much cleaner. Interesting. Uh, they're permanently adding the solo revive skill of Necromancer. Like that's just gonna be a thing now. Oh. Okay, cool. That's yeah. that's smart. That makes sense, honestly. Uh, 
Other changes for solo players will be um, with Magpie, uh, solo players will have double dark sight when they get a bounty, so 10 seconds. Oh, wow. That's, and that's, I think that's fair. The range of Serpent will be doubled for solo players. Okay. So basically, they're adding a bunch of stuff that to make like make solo, solo play actually play viable. viable. Yeah. Right. Which is pretty fucking sweet. I think they it, it really needed that. Yeah. I think they should add poison ammo to the the Vetterly. Um. Does it not have? I never used the Vetterly. No, it's got fire, high velocity, and something. Okay, um... Oh, wild card conditions. So they're bringing back the uh, different, the contracts. So how it used to be where you could select a different contract. So basically you'll have the regular mode, which is like, you know, either daytime or sunset, dawn or fog. And then there'll be a separate cube mode where it's like either nighttime or fire or whatever, but you'll know what it is before going into it, which is neat. Yeah. So I think that'll that be if it's nighttime, we can avoid it. Yeah, or like, <laughs> honestly, nighttime would be good if you knew it was nighttime going in. Like, you could bring I'm a sure. flashlight or something, which is what it's going to yeah. do. So, that's cool. Uh, oh, left left side peak advantage? Gone. So, you know the left side peak advantage? No. Wait, you didn't know about that? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Basically, peeking at behind, from behind cover on the left side is, like, way better than peeking on the right side. Like, if you peek from cover on the left side of the cover, they won't be able to see your head at all. And uh -huh. if you peek on the right side, your head is really visible. So that's how it was. They're removing that. So it's equal when you, no matter what side you peek from, which is good because it was like super overpowered peeking from left side. Now you'll be able to see, they'll be able to see your head no matter what side you peek from. Right. So. That's cool. Um, Stalker Beetle explosion damage is now 25 points, which is pretty good. What uh, was it, like 10? It was 5, so. Ooh. Yeah, it's going to be pretty big. Big change. So, that's a small bar. Yeah, if that's a small bar. The first one's a small bar. That's, that's a whole nice. small bar, yeah. Which means... That's, I, that's, that's what it should be. Yeah. I mean, I guess they thought people weren't using the Stalker Beetle enough, so... And buffing it, which means now sparks with poison ammo is going to be a lot better with that, which is cool. Right, because if you got a stalker mm -hmm. with, um, well, if you got either of those two things, like if you've got like two people, one of them has sparks, one of them has stalker, and they both have uh, snake eyes. Mm -hmm. Just one of them has to hit first. Yeah, and, and it'll be really easy. I, I usually like silenced or poison sparks should hit first because the stalker beetle can then track it with poison sense. Yep. And like get him from behind cover. I don't know. It's gonna be cool. All right, so I'm gonna run to the bathroom while this game is queuing. I'll be right back. Okay.
Hello. Hey. I saw you get back. Good. <laughs> A lot of um minor changes to DeSalle, it looks like. So when you first sat down, mm -hmm. for a second, I thought you were your mom. Oh. I don't know uh, what my mom would be game. doing playing Hunt. <laughs> I don't know. But that's nice. It's weird. You'd think she'd be uh, bandaging hunters. My mom is actually at work today. I could imagine her playing hunt, just running around with uh, with with uh, first aid kit out, just trying to find. She's a medic. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 hey! Don't shoot! I'm just gonna. Do you need to be healed? Mm -hmm. I'm. I want to heal you. I wish you could heal enemies. That would be great. Can you not? <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Have you ever tried? I'm pretty sure I have actually. <laughs> Well, you should be able to heal anything you walk up to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure because uh, I think in one game we like partnered up with another team. <laughs> oh fuck! Is that cool? No, don't know why that guy did that. <laughs> They leave you alone? Gosh, they I did, they help. left you to die. Wait, when? They left you to die. Oh, with the dogs? Yeah. Damn, it's fine. Oh, dude. Yeah, I, I had no issues with them. I just need, just need some, uh, need some, uh, help. Why don't you ping the gator legs? I mean, I guess I should have. Too late now. There we go. Here's a cart. Yeah, with you in the chat, it almost feels like I'm playing with, uh, playing with friends instead of randoms. Mm-hmm. I guess I'll keep the chaos bomb. Well, we're in the wrong boss area, but these guys don't seem to care. Oh fuck, I think I just hit my teammate. Hit what? Pretty sure I just hit my teammate. See where these guys are. Fuck. Where was that? Up on the wall? Can't really see.
That's a kill. Still there, Joe? Yeah. Watch him. Nice. It's in it's it's getting intense. He's trying to be respectful and not distract me, huh? I'm just like zoned in. <laughs> I'm just sitting here eating chips and watching like, <laughs> eyes eating, glued. Eating popcorn like the Michael Jackson meme. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. That was a trap. Well then. Oh. Man, he positioned right by that fucking, uh, <laughs> right by that yep. cash register. Yep. Like I was just yep. so distracted. Ooh, money. Yep. Dead. That was smart. We can revive? What the fuck? This isn't a good idea. I, think, I, don't, I don't think they killed him. Yeah, guess it was a good idea. Surprising. Law. <laughs> I just saw it. Damn. Did I get that cash register? I don't know if I actually got it before I died or if no, someone else got it. Y'all should go to the south one. That's two kills for me. I should go to the southern uh, compound, boss compound. Yeah, I think that's what we'll probably do. Oh, these guys are gonna loot my body, loot my kill. Oh well. Damn, those bastards. Oh well. What the fuck was that? What just happened? It's like rubber banded things, really. that where you ended up like back up the stairs or no no right after that what ha what was right after that the fucking uh guy on the stairs concertina himself oh and almost died oh don't know what he was doing so it looks like the other boss might be at cna because we've heard fighting from there or shooting Unfortunately, I'm missing a bar now. That's why this compound. Mm, you were right. Because hopefully they haven't managed And you don't have that. sound on either, do you? So you didn't hear that fighting? You just knew. You just had a hunch. Like that guy from the movie now. Quasimodo. Oh, 
Call me Quasi Murder. Cause I got a hunch. Damn shotgun. Fuck me. Dude has a slug shotgun. Somebody just oh. traded. Oh! Just gonna just uh, one for us. Yeah, I think that's. I think that might have been everybody. Maybe not. That's pretty good. You can just tell by the way he moves. Yeah. You do pop that too. What's that? That heal. What about a heal? You saw the heal right after you finished using Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. I have very good awareness. I think that they already banned I know, right? I wish they had waited. That would have been the thoughtful thing to do. Truly. People just don't look out for their neighbors anymore. You know. Just like uh, two kills this game, I think. So. I wasn't totally useless. Nope. You were partially useful. Did other bounty team move? Uh, let's see. Probably. Yeah, they did. I would just check the corner of the screen, but your face is there. <laughs> I know, I should have done that, but I'm an idiot. I'm guessing you checked the map or something. Wait, what's that? What, what did you check? Yeah, I opened up the map. That's what I figured. It's almost like we're hunting together. Almost. Next weekend. Okay. Are they following you? I hadn't even scanned. your friends. You can reload that now. What the fuck? This dude. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? My teammate just fucking killed me. Are you... Did you see that? I did. I don't know if it was intentional. He literally just shot the fucking uh, barrel like right when I was next to it. It seemed pretty intentional. 
Let me apologize. At least. I guess it wasn't. So was it accidental? He said sorry, so. I'm assuming it was. Like, I'm not gonna hold a grudge. Just kind of don't understand why he did that, but whatever. If there's one thing Germans don't do, it's hold a grudge. Wait, what's that? If there's one thing Germans don't do, it's hold a grudge. I can't tell. I, I'm seeing this is a, a quote from Community. It is. What was the last part of the sentence? If there's one thing Germans don't do, it's hold a grudge. Hold a grudge. Yeah. That's the one where uh, they're it's fighting the German study. No, the study room. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's the season four episode, right? Might be. I need to rewatch that show. Got one more episode of Arrested Development left. Sadly, they took it off of Amazon Prime. They took Community off Amazon Prime? Yeah. What the hell? Why? So now you gotta watch it. It is a couple of one months ago. It's gotta um, be another place. I don't wanna watch it on Netflix because I knew they took out a lot of shit. Netflix and Hulu both edit them down to size. What the fuck? Um, Why would you do that? And, and the thing is, it's different which bits they cut out. Mm hmm. So and I think I you... had this conversation with you where. They're, like, Amazon was the only one who played the full unedited episodes. Mm -hmm. What you can do is this little thing called torrenting. Yeah, that's what I'll probably do. Torrent and then, uh, and then Chromecast it to the TV or something. You know it. Just have to, um, I think my dad has a VPN. Use. So yeah, um, then there's a good website What's for that? your VPN mm -hmm. called unblockit. Dot, I think it was Uno, but if you type that in, it'll bring up the right thing, kind of like how the Pirate Bay usually brings up the right thing. But it's got mirror sites or like links to what the, the current active version of all the different streaming and torrenting sites mm -hmm. and whatnot. Like, because you know how they're constantly getting attacked and pulled down and they got to change the URL and make it slightly different. Mm -hmm. Like, keep. Are you there? Jesus. You cut out for a minute. So, unblock it is useful. Unblock it useful. U N B L O E. No C. No C. Yep. It's what I pirate said in the desert. True. <laughs> yeah. Are you familiar with Nate the Snake? It sounds really familiar. Is that all? Is that that really long joke? Yeah. Okay. Then yes. Better, Better Nate, Nate than, than lover. lover. Yeah. <laughs> I love that joke. Somebody um told that in one of my classes in high school. Spent like, Over how many class periods? It was like a 30, 45 minute section of like a class. I can't believe the teacher actually let let him do it. it it's OK, so I've read it on uh, on the there's a website, NateTheSnake.com. 
And I don't know if they did the full version, because, I mean, this I was working during the time, but I it took me a couple shifts to get through it. Mm-hmm. And there were times where I forgot that it was going to be a joke. <laughs> and I'd remember, but, like, for, for numerous points through reading it, I, I just enjoyed it for the well-crafted story that mm-hmm. it was. Well, speaking, better made than whatever. Speaking of stories, have you ever read Terry Pratchett? I'm familiar with his work, but I have not. The Discworld series. Apparently, like, like 41 books, I think, in the series. Yeah, I've heard of them. Yeah, I just started the first book, uh, The nice. Color of Magic. Yeah. You ever read uh, Terry Brooks? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. That's more fantasy. Um, have you ever heard of the Sword of Shannara? The Sword the Shannara of Shannara. I, I don't think I have. I think either Amazon or Hulu or maybe Netflix. Somebody made a Shannara series type TV thing. Um. I watched very little of it and wasn't super impressed, but the books were good. You know that old romantic um, movie? I'm trying to think. It was like about some magic mailbox or something, and these two, this couple from like oh, yeah. different time periods. Yeah, were, yeah. Was it the lake house, or is that different? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Which makes me think of Community, because the, the time when uh, Dean says something about it. It's kind of like the, the lake house, I assume. I mean, even I have women. <laughs> um, there's a version of that where the couple is uh, is portrayed by um, Shania Twain and um, and Mark Twain. And the movie's called Never the Twain Shall Meet. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, I just heard Chris. I, I just remember the, uh, like, thinking about uh, the Dean. I just, I'm thinking about the, the last uh, episode of season six. Um, what, well, I think it was Britta's uh, pitch. Um, I'm, I'm transgender now. I'm not all this other stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Britta. Yeah, that, that was you a good finale. I want my diaper bag. What'd you say? No, it was, it was, it was a good finale. It was, it was decent for what it was. I mean... And it's, it's a hard show to, like, have an ending, but it was very, like, heartfelt while still being funny. Right, right. I mean, as the show, as the, as I think it was Abed kind of pointed out, the show had been ha- hemorrhaging cast members for a while. And yeah. And it was hard to do a good finale because half of everybody that was the show is gone. Yeah. It was a weird collection of people at the end. I, was I never really like. Oh, never a huge fan of him. He was never a huge fan of Hickey. Mike, the guy Mike? who played Mike in Breaking Bad. Have you never seen Breaking Bad? I've seen it once. Well, a he's while the ago. guy from Breaking Bad. Wait, not Hickey. I like Hickey. Never mind. I take that back. I like Hickey. I, I don't like Elroy. That's who I meant to say. Oh. I'm not a huge fan of him. He was a, he was a weird character. He was really, I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, especially the uh, the wedding episode where he's saying he likes uh, he's addicted to encouraging white people. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. That, that was good stuff. Yeah. But for the most part, like... I don't know, like like the hand episode. Where he's that talking about, one. oh, I'd be lying if I said I didn't poop. Like, what? I don't remember that one. 
Yeah, like, he went around to the other side to see if it was locked, and he gets back, like, super late. And he's like, oh, I'd be lying if I said I didn't poop. And then he's like, could you? Sure I can. Sure I can. My favorite character out of the ones that they added was, um... Frank. What's up? Frankie, easily. For Frankie, me. for sure. 100%. I love her. Have you heard the theory? What's the theory? About Frankie? Mm, I, you're going to have to be more specific. Okay. Um, her dead sister? Oh, the, the who worked in IT? Her twin sister? Yeah. Yeah. See, for me, I always uh, had a different theory. That okay. is basically... um. You know how in, like, it's a kind of media trope where, like, stuff, like, gets messed up with the timeline and, like, like something, like, paranormal time-altering thing happens and somebody's, like, nose starts bleeding. Okay. And so she was, uh, you know, she was originally, like, the IT person in that one small role and then came back, but it was, like, she was a different character, even though... You know, she had already been on like the season before as the IT person, and then when they yeah. reference, like she like tries like calls the IT person later. The undulating voice and the high pitched whistle. Yeah, and her nose starts bleeding or something, and I always thought that was like basically a reference to the fact that she played both parts, and it was like a timeline inconsistency, and so she, like her nose starts bleeding. That's how I always kind of interpreted that. Which, I, that's my headcanon. It's basically like a, a time paradox. <laughs> okay. What was your interpretation? See, I like the whole the IT lady was Her twin Frankie. sister? Yeah, and she died. Mm -hmm. And then that's what, like, something about, like, haunted IT lady situation, which is why the like the weird paranormal stuff going on. I gotcha. I guess yeah, I always assumed that it was just basically a reference to the inconsistency of the of like they were acknowledging the fact that they had her play two different characters on the same show. That that could be that that's a solid uh theory. That's a solid theory. Cuz that seems like to me like something that they would do. Like just have a joke about like there being like just a a, a paradox. <laughs> Right, right. Of two people, like the same person, existing twice in the universe, and when they contact themselves, they get a nosebleed. I'm trying to think of what I feel like. There's some other. It's like a. It's a reference to some other piece of uh, fiction, and I can't remember what it is. But something where like there's like some same person in multiple timelines, and it's like some time travel thing, and when they contact themselves in a different timeline. They're like news starts bleeding and I can't remember what it is, but I'm uh, can't remember what the reference is. But I'm pretty sure I remember that. You like that bone vivi? What's that? You like that bone vivi? Bone vivi? What does that mean? Oh the this gun. <laughs> bone yeah. vivi? Bone vivi. I think it is a reference to that QAnon thing with the Kofi. Did this come out after that? Oh, that's that's yeah. That's no, it's a crag. So yeah, I couldn't remember. I, I thought it was a Nagant for a second, but yeah, if it's a crag, definitely it came well, out no, after. No, it is a Mosin. Is it? Yeah. Because I had that long before the crag happened. Yeah, but it was still. After Kofi B. Yeah, because that was like 2000, like. I thought it was like 2020. That, that. I mean, I guess still it could be, yeah. 20, oh. started like 2017, maybe before that, 2016. Really? I didn't think it was that long ago. I was pretty sure it happened okay. during COVID. I Hold on, I'm gonna search it. I'm, you played when... the game, my. When did Trump say Kovifi? Uh, 
Uh, oh, okay. It was, uh, 2017. I thought it was way later. That's weird. Also, my, um, speech recognition, uh, understood Kofi Fee, like, instantly. <laughs> Which is very funny that it recognized that word. Hey, um, Scupper team's coming down, so we might just catch them at Stillwater here. Oh, um, my ex? Mm hmm He used to refer to coffee as Kofi Fee. <laughs> just as a joke. Like, oh man, I want some Kofi Fee. I, I definitely, when that happened, I, uh, I did that same joke. I'm sure a lot of people did. It oh, it, it became a joke, like, she continued to, to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the other okay, bounty team's coming here. When's our time, Jen? What's that? When's our time? When's our time? What does that mean? Uh, Allison's always like, oh, I can't hunt because girlfriend. Well... That wasn't the reason today, it was because she, uh... I know. I know, headphone bugs. Um, oh, phone bugs. One dead on oh. But when are we going to be unable to... I don't know, when are you going to be able to hunt? No, when are we going to be unable to hunt due to significant others? Oh. Who knows? When, when's it going to be our time? Downstairs. Wait, is other bounty team here? Ah. Okay, I got an uppercut. Ooh. I'm losing in an uppercut and you didn't have to pay for any of it. Mm -hmm. Can't complain there. Wait, what's that? You still holding the Mosin? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. It's just dirty. Okay. I don't think I got a call there. Unfortunately. Oh, well. But we still won. And now we can get both bounties. Or no? No. Good. Getting kind of 
hungry. I want to keep playing. <laughs> Isn't that how it goes? Yeah, really is. You got a dead spider. Yep. Right here. Was that a sticky bomb? No, it's a pass. Mm. That's probably what I thought was the sticky. I'm I'm certain it was. I still don't know why you don't just have your computer set up on your bed. Because it'll overheat. Mm-mm. Yeah. -huh. If you put it on the cool side of the pillow. <laughs> it won't stay cool long. I've had my uh, computer running, sitting on like uh, my bed before. It it shut down. It overheated and shut down. This is cool. <laughs> right. I'm putting on a, a puppet show. Yeah, it is. There's a giant walking around here. Shadow puppet show. <laughs> Look at that. That one's pretty cool. Is that a people? No, it's a chaos bomb. Did he hit you with it? Yeah, and I threw a chaos bomb back in there. <laughs> That's funny. Two can play at that game. <laughs> Did you see what I dropped in chat? Um, what is that? That's a clip of your sidestep and puppet show. Oh. <laughs> Thought you might enjoy that. Thanks, Joe. Matter of fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna DM you in the Discord. Okay. I might, um, go grab a snack after this game and then continue playing. Probably just go, like, switch it to the be right back, the be right back screen, and then run, put some things in my mouth. And then come back. I'm a child. Huh? Okay, I call it like I see it. Oh, I'm calling it like I see it. I'm a child. You put things in your mouth? <laughs> I wonder 
wonder who's watching me. I have three viewers. I saw that. That's pretty You're popular. something I had for for a second. You're popular. I'm getting, getting up there. That's that's a lot for never streaming or like being like incredibly inconsistent. Right. <laughs> like I am the most cons inconsistent streamer. You have more viewers than I've ever had. I don't see how that's possible. You stream more than me, don't you? I don't stream at all ever. Oh, well then that's probably why. <laughs> you do have to stream to have viewers on your stream. And you remember the, like a week ago when we were having the conversation about how I have a lot of viewers for never having streamed? Or a lot of followers? Yeah, I got a lot of, uh, did I say viewers? Yes. I meant followers. I know what you meant. Yep. I got 248 followers and no streams. How do you have 248 followers if you have no streams? The same way a lot of other people do. Um, a lot of people in the drum and bass community just follow each other. I see. Um, so we see people, we see... If you see somebody you've seen in like one or two other uh, drum and bass streams, you're probably getting mm -hmm. into that. Uh, and especially because that was back when, you know, uh, hosting worked really well before they nerfed the crap out of it, made it basically useless. Huh. Um, so, people would host and set their channel to auto-host various, uh, like, streamers. Mm -hmm. And then, if you were following, like, one of those people who were hosting people, they would show up on your now playing or whatever. So you could find new streams just by seeing who other people were hosting. Take care your game. Interesting. Very interesting. So I would host up channels, and that's one reason people would, would follow me, is because they'd find new channels from me. Mm -hmm. I would find new channels from other people. Interesting. Yeah. So that's why I have a bunch of followers. And we're all kind of of the mindset that if any of us start do start streaming, mm -hmm. we're we're already following, so we're there to support. Mm-hmm. Pretty, pretty great community. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, they're level 50. Did I get a kill that game? Wait, no. no. Got none. Do, <laughs> do you have level 50 hunters yet? Do I have one? You done five level fifties? Oh yeah, I I got that. I got that one. Let's see. If I retire, do I get money, or is it just uh? You get you get experience, which will go towards getting you hundred dollars. Hey, two hundred dollars. Woohoo! All right. All right. I'll be back in a couple minutes. I, mean, I should just start retiring my level fifties. You should. All right, I, I'll be back in a few minutes. Right. Stay tuned. All right.
de inicio de año. Pero yo voy a tener que ver en el So what I was saying was, I might be due to go hit the door and work that. Okay. We back, baby. Oh, what's up, Mama? We back, baby. Woo! Let's fucking go. What is this? So, Mike? What? So, I had bought a red dot for my. my red dot redemption? Dot. Yeah. I read that for my uh, automatic BB gun. Okay. Look at this. And... Ah! What am I? What am I looking at? No, I just made my webcam pick up the full screen. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Having fun over here. Okay. <laughs> so, I got it. I, I bought it off of Amazon and I got it and you I got put it, the batteries you it? in. And it didn't work, and so. I was like... I'm uh, sorry, I, I zoned out. What's the first part of this? What are you buying? I got a red dot site. For That's my... right. Oh, yeah, and I said red dead redemption. Red dot redemption. Yep. Okay, I remember and now. Then it didn't work. Mm -hmm. It didn't turn on. So I sent it back, and they sent me a new one. And it didn't work, so I had to contact the actual company. Mm -hmm. And they're like, okay, we'll send you a new one. And it got here finally, and it doesn't work. What the fuck? So I need somebody to either m manually go check one, like put the batteries in, make sure it works, it turns on, and the dot actually shows up. Mm hmm And then mail it to me. And I'll mail you the two that don't work, and you can refurbish them and make them work. All right, I'm mailing it right now. Or I can send you these two and just give me my f my my money back. So I can buy a working mm -hmm. red, like one of those two things I need. I wish I could help. On the plus side, the laser I bought for it is super, super nice. Works really well and it holds its zero well. Um, and so my ex-roommate got a uh, new site for one of his guns. Mm -hmm. And there was a site on it already that came with it. Um, and we tried putting that on mine. And even from a BB gun, let alone a real gun, even from a BB gun, just the movement of like shooting a BB, the BBs, mm -hmm. may, like knocked the, uh, the scope off of center so it, it doesn't hold its zero at all mm. like one magazine and it's not accurate anymore so i i've got to get something better I, I i almost had a free site there but like it didn't work well which of these hunters should i get i kind of like Let's this see. one the reap what you the saw the one on the left the one on the right here on the screen right now hold on ooh, that one. Ooh, yeah I Next like... to the private eye. Yeah. Private eye looks kind of cool too, but I like the uh. La Luz. The daughter of Decay Mo. looks like she'd be good at like uh at hiding at uh, being like kind of camouflaged. Okay, the one go go to the right one page. That's the wrong right. I okay, went... go uh, one more page. One more page. Um, 
And then the one on the far right. La Luz, La Luz Mala. Mala. Yeah, that one. That's the one I want. That's a pretty cool one. Also, the one one newer than that, between that one and the newest one, that one's kind of cool, Comedia too. Comedia della Marca. The one with the cool, like, three-face mask or something. I just can't decide. Ooh, the Hail Mary is kind of neat, but I don't like the sunglasses. I just can't. I can't decide. I'm not going to make a decision right now. I'll just stick with my uh, prodigal daughter. I do like her. Yeah. I like the La Luz Mala. I'm going to get that one for sure. Okay. Um... Plus it comes with a neat choke bomb. Here we go. Let's get queued up. My, my targets. I think I forgot my targets in Dude's Garage, so I'm waiting for him to message me back to let me know if they're there. Because if they're there, I can go over there and pick them up and then drive to Tommyville. Tommyville. It's a little windy, but it should be all right. So, my bong has been sitting in my car since, uh, Sunday. Okay, what do you want me to do about it? No, it's finally, like, I finally brought it in last night. <laughs> okay. I'm so just sharing. The fuck what? I'm just sharing that I've been driving. I'm sorry, I'm just being, wow, that is dangerous, especially for someone like you. Well, not not as much anymore. Cause oh, that's right. You're not. not yeah. No more probies for this Joseph. Probating. Now it's just a regular old regular ticket for me. Give her a drink. That's perfect. What's up? One sixteen point nine ounce bottle of water. Is just the right amount to fill this thing. Wow. I'm glad I'm glad things are really working out for you. Things are coming up all just <laughs> Alright, wish me luck in this game. Good luck in this game. Thank you. You wanna you wanna hear how much I spent for a, a quarter? 
For vodka? A quarter. A quarter of what? Of flour? Uh, how much you spend? 40. Wow. Is it actually good? It's, de it's pretty decent. Um, good enough. You know how far I had to go to get it? Four hours. The guy in the room next to me. Wow. That's, uh, you can't beat that. Yeah. You know how we use those like, little Delta 8 cart? Mm hmm. Kind of thing? So he's got non Delta 8 ones. Really? Or. 35 a piece or two for 60. That's good. Full gram? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. And they're, they're, they're decent. And you're in Greensboro now, right? Yeah. I might need to Swing get the at some point. I mean, not now, but like maybe in some kind of like, I need to save money right now because. Some kind of future context. Yeah, yeah. some kind of future context. Right now, I am. I had a very slow month. Uh, I mean, as as you can tell by the fact that I've been like just doing nothing but playing video games the past, you know, God knows how long. But I am. The rock star life has slowed down. Wait, what's that? The rock star life has slowed down. Well, I just I basically had no shows in February. It right. kind of sucks because our um, drummer and bassist were like they had a bunch of like conflicting gigs and stuff, so we had to cancel all our gigs for February and. Finally, gonna have the first show that I've had in like almost two months uh, next week. Okay, cool. So hopefully we pack the shit out and it pays well. I mean, oh, so right when I get a desk and chair, you're not gonna be around to hunt. That is true. I might be back Sunday. I think my shows are Friday and Saturday, so. I might uh, be I, back I, and play Sunday. I mean, I'm not playing this weekend. You miss a weekend, it'll be a big deal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be back Sunday, so we can probably play. Then. I mean. You mean it, what? This, this stuff looks pretty dang good. Oh, have you listened to my new song? Haven? Yeah. I haven't yet, but I saw the, the thing you for saw it. The post? You should check, you should it, check out. it out. Yeah, yeah I am. Um... Finally released that after uh, working on it for a very long time. That's the one you've been showing me, right? Maybe. With the I... the vocal harmonies. No, that's a different one. That's one that What's I haven't that? released yet. I uh, just don't really have a name. Untitled piece. Number... <laughs> what? Untitled piece number fifty-six. Relatable. Uh, yeah. As someone who music, relatable. Haven is the one that I, I've been working on since I started recording that one. Um, How long ago? Uh, like, I started... Well, I actually, I wrote it back in, like, 2014. Okay. And then I started recording it at the beginning of the pandemic, like, mid... mid-2020. Mid panty. Mid panty. <laughs> so um, yeah, I had had that one in the can chamber you imagine, for a while. Can you imagine um, history class in like twenty years going over this period? Um, can I imagine it? I guess. <laughs> like. Think about being a kid growing up, taking history class, reading all the normal kinds of crazy stuff that happens in history, throughout history, and then reading about, like, the 2020s, when everything fell apart. Well, I don't know if it'll be as, I mean, you know, we look back at, like, the 1918 flu and shit, which is pretty similar, and, uh, I don't know, it's not doesn't seem that crazy. What was it called? The Spanish flu? Ooh, it's it's Dave. Hi Dave. Wait, Dave? Where? Oh, Dave. How's the hunting going? It's going pretty well. 
I'm just doing some how's, solo hunting and Joe is watching because he can't play, but... How's the, how's the Dave going? Yeah, how are you, Dave? It's been a while. Uh, I, I've got a new place now, um, so I, I'll have a desk and chair by next weekend to, to do some hunting. Yeah. Hanging Good. in there. Hanging in there, huh? It's better than not hanging in there. Very true. Unless you're holding on to razor wire and there's a giant fluffy pile of like pillows. Joe's got a point. And stop hanging in there. Just drop to the pillows. Yeah, what have you been up to, Dave? Just just chilling. We're gonna play some video games sometime. Yeah, you need to say, screw you family, it's video game time. Cool, cool. You need that sometimes. That's good that you're um there. You're able to able to do that. shoot my rifle. Nice, this dude fucking did it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Don't you kind of just want to go shoot a gun? Oh, that's not what I meant. I just think the whole what David saying. Oh. <laughs> they make sense. Oh, we just fucking ended it. Yeah, it's 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 hard lately. Like um, I definitely definitely have some days where I struggle. All right. Well. Uh... Hope everything gets better, Dave. I'll pray for you. Um, yeah, I hope everything just gets... It starts to improve for you. Yeah, good, good seeing you, Dave. Let's, uh, let's play some stuff sometime. Was that your kill with the fanning? Yes, I think so. That was late. Later, Dave. Is it just one of your teammates dead, or both? Both of them. Ooh. Nope, only one of them. No, they're both dead. Oh, they're teammates. I, I was saying yours. One of y'all's people was down.
damn it. I killed myself. That was dumb. That was pretty dumb. I didn't think that would kill me. Well, how far back am I? Jeez. What are you talking about? Because I'm still watching. You're still running around. You must not be live anymore, because my stream is, uh, the latency is only a couple seconds. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. It's my... I, I see you about to throw something. You just threw something, and then you blew up. Yep. That's me. I... That's way behind. Yeah, see so if you can uh, speed it up. I got three um, kills at least. I That's exited it and went back in. It's just on phone, like, it buffers so much. At some point, you're just way behind. Yeah. Yeah, phone is hard. Um, but, uh, on the computer, it's not as bad, but it still happens. But you can't watch on your computer? I can watch it, I just... I'm more restricted with it. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is gonna be my game. We're gonna win this one. I All those two five stars. Points, I feel like you won that last one. I mean, I got three calls, but... That's what I'm saying. You won that game. They did, but you did. <laughs> Technically not, but thanks anyway. I do think the daughter of Decay is probably the coolest, uh, the coolest one. It's cool. I don't know. I like La, La Luz Mala. I just think that one's super, super neat. And she's okay. I want one that's, like, pretty, though. There's not enough pretty ones. Right. Right. The concubine is, is okay, but... It's, I think it's because, like, they're hunters. They're not trying to be, like... Nice. Well, I guess what I'm saying is, um, a lot of them have, like, their faces covered or obscured. True. Like, the concubine and the, uh, the other one that Allison plays, I can't remember her name. But she's pretty cool. I wish I could play that one, but Allison always has the claim on her. And, you know, you can't play the same hunt, the same hunter, you know, that just wouldn't be right. Why? Because it'd get confusing. What? And it's just, you know, this doesn't work. Like, how can you have the same, two of the same hunter? This doesn't make sense. I think it's nice to go three of the same hunter to really confuse other people, because then they don't know who they're shooting, who's been shot, how many people there are. I guess that's true. Well, I can't get that one anyway, because it was a tw Twitch drop exclusive. Which is a shame, but oh well. Alas. What the fuck is this dude doing? He's being very loud. Loud how? Like making a bunch of sounds? Shooting. That guy on fire. We have a... There's another team here. That's how you get hit. Damn it. Fuck me. At least it's fire.
That was a good one. Wow. Nice. Killing everybody. Oh, they got him. Is that an explosive crossbow? Damn. We just wrecked them. They pick up the explosive crossbow. Caught up, Joe? I think so. Or close to. I'm watching three seconds behind real life. That's not bad. That's why I coughed, so I could hear it on the stream. Mm. That's why you coughed. Yeah, like literally I was testing that. Sure. Oh, it would have been way more of a cough. That was a clear in my throat thing. Why you ain't loot them? Guys, I was curious. Still fighting. Oh, saw somebody. doing the, the sound effects of the guy's dying. He's like, ah! <laughs> You got some ammo. Damn, how did he hit me? I was zigzagging all over the place. Yeah, you were. You kind of slowed down right there at the end. I ran out of stamina. That Are you gonna specky your partner? I guess I don't really care. 
Doesn't wake me up when I'm alive. Ooh. Next. There's some post on Twitter, somebody said this song, hold on. Somebody said it sounds like they're saying Chinese Elmo. Chinese what? Chinese Elmo. <laughs> I don't think that's what they're saying, but it sounds like it. Chinese, Chinese Elmo. God, I'm so mad that I'm dead. It's not fair. It's not. You're all out in the open where you can't be revivaled. It's bull. It is bullshit. Easy ones. Oh, this is boring. I just want to be alive again. I shouldn't have tried to cross that field. I didn't realize there were two people when I started running in that direction. Thought it was just one guy over there, but then I realized there was two. Didn't go well. Yerp. Not particularly, anyway. What's that? Not particularly. Not particularly what? Well. It did not go particularly well. No, it didn't. And now they're just abandoning me. These fuckers. I mean, I get it. I don't. You don't abandon your teammates. I would never abandon my teammates even if they're randoms you die for your teammates that's because that's the way you're supposed to hunt that's because you have a code i do have a code these hooligans do not these 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 ne'er-do-wells are every hunter for himself Wait, so are they killing the boss? Yep. Is there another team somewhere? Yeah, back where I was. So basically they could theoretically kill the boss. Get my health back and then come revive me. Yeah, I hope that's what they're doing. I'm not yeah, gonna leave like... until that happens. Yeah, if they just grab the bounty and dip. They're jerks. Then I'm gonna be pissed. He... Oh. Speed right off. So, I, you know what I wonder? I just see that time. What's that? What do you wonder? So, the term, like when people say P, P of, like, or, or I'm peed off. Oh, pissed off, yeah. Right, but if they're saying peed off, the question, my question there is, is it P as in abbreviation of piss? Like, so peed, like, you know, like P worded, but you don't say word, so you just yeah. say P. Or is it P, like P E E, like, no, it's the most offensive the, term for Europe. The, the piss word. Like, whether, or is it. Like, oh, I'm peed off, like... No, it's, I'm... Of saying, I'm pissed-worded off. Or, maybe, but is, I wonder, are there some people that think of it that way? And are there some people who are saying, like, peed, like, pee instead of piss? 
I don't know how to answer this question, Joe. I really don't. Like, like, you could also say, I'm urined off. You know what I mean? I'm peed off. I'm pissed off. I'm urined off. It's all the same thing. Don't you think? I, I don't know. I can't side. I, I'm sorry. I cannot support this hate. Hate? <laughs> of what? Hatred of what, though? Of P, of the piss word. I'm not hating anything. I'm just wondering something from a grammatical standpoint. <laughs> I'm curious about English. Look, I can't answer all the questions, okay? I don't know things. I truly don't Ask know things. Statement. I wish I could talk to people Assume after it? I'm dead. Like, I want to ask these guys, hey, do you have any intention of saving my life? Like, or should I just dip? I swear if they don't come revive me, I'm going to be so pissed. Peed? I'm going to be so P-worded off. <laughs> I'm going to be so piss-worded off. I, I knew people who used to say, like, similarly, like... Like, you know how people would go like, oh, you said the B word or the whatever word. That, yeah, you said the F word. Well, I, I went to school with a guy who would, like, in high school would say, oh, you said the fuck word. Oh, that was a train. Yep, uh, piss is basically the N word for urine freaks. Is it? Basically. I don't think... I'm, he, like, I'm fucking around, bud. As you know, I, I'm just oh. making a point. I don't think, like, any time that phrase is used, so, like, that Damn, phrase... Damn, these dumbasses. They should have just got me out. For anything. Mm-hmm. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, what, say that again? Anytime someone says that any word is the N-word for anything, I'm just like, no, it's... Well, it's like, uh, one of those words you'll say, and one of those words you won't. So, tell me which is worse. I saw that, like, right. there are people who are, like, like, like anti-trans people, who are like, cis is a slur. Cis is basically the N-word for normal people. <laughs> and it's like, well, you're saying that word, and you won't all, you're just saying the N-word. Like, I think I can take a guess as to which is worse, you know? Right. And, and Bill Burr also had a thing about that, I think it was, where he's telling, I think it was him, it was some comedian talking about a midget. And mm -hmm. it was like, you can't say that word. It's like, I'm the five N stars. Words are, Sorry. And it's like, no, it's not. And you know how I know, and that's the same reason. Because you'll, one of those words you'll say, and the other you'll only say the letter. Yeah. It's clearly not the same. Very clearly. Yeah, I was <laughs> absolutely making fun of people who do that. Yeah. Oh, I have an aftermath. I'm not going to take it, though. Fuck aftermaths. Yeah, I'm not a fan. It's, that, if I get a, an aftermath as a reward, that's like, oh, cool, money. Mm-hmm. That's a nice little job. Oh, yeah, I should sell it. That's a good idea. That's some hollers to add to the stack. Man, big dynamite bundles are like the most dangerous fucking thing, truly. Yeah, for everyone involved, including the person throwing it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. He's funny because you kill yourself with one earlier. Yes. Well, you just can't like cook it like a lot like you do with other people. It's best to have like pitching. True story. Dig dynamite. 
Zig Vine in my... Oh my god, this thing that's going around on Twitter is so fucking stupid. It's like people sharing some video of like some... I think it's like wrestling or something. And it's like there's this one woman who's like really big and buff and like looks like very like masculine you know, because she's like a professional like fucking wrestler in, in a high weight class. But she's a cis sure. woman. Like she's not trans. But like right. all these people are sharing it like, look at this tranny, like doing like just beating the shit out of out of cis women. Like this is why trans people shouldn't be allowed to play sports and like everybody's like sharing it like uh and it's like bro, these are two cis women. There's no trans people in this video. Like, that's just like, <laughs> that's just like what some women look like. Yo, it's you so gotta dumb. be real though. That, that is pro level trolling right there on someone's part. Maybe, I, I mean, hopefully like somebody like was trolling and it wasn't just like, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if like, People are just that dumb. That's the thing. It's like somebody posts something like that. It's like they just literally take their, you know, word for it. And then people start sharing it and everybody's repeating the and the factual inaccuracy. It could be that. But, man, I really want to believe that someone is just hilarious. I mean, it is a good, a good zinger where it's like people are sharing this and you're just like, that's actually not true. Neither of those people are trans. That's just that's just some lady doing some wrestling. Ooh. That's that's hilarious. That's hard about it. I'm not gonna lie, that is that's super funny. Uh, medical care, sir. Yeah, it would it would uh it would be funnier to me if it weren't for like like, uh, those people, oof, if it weren't for those same people trying to, like, like, basically say that we should all be fucking <laughs> murdered, like, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I don't know if everybody is saying that, um... I mean, a lot of I... people, the thing is, it's, like, not that big of a line between, like, between, you know, saying, like, the same people who say, like, oh, I just think trans women shouldn't play in women's sports. Like, those, like, 90% of the people who I, I see, like, actually outwardly expressing that view, they end up continuing and saying, yeah, I don't think trans people should, like, exist. I think we have to, like, legislate them out of existence. There's not a lot of people who are like, who are uh, basically think that, and I, then I also think, are like. I think it really. I think it really honestly way. does depend on the situation. I think a blanket statement either way is stupid. No, I know. I'm just saying. I'm just like, saying that uh, a lot of these people like. It, it's kind of like what's the word? It's like a gateway to those views like they they start out by just having reasonable concerns hello? and it eventually oh hello hello can you hear me hello hello, hello. can you hear me you cut out i heard oh. gateway oh yeah it's like you know it's kind of a gateway and in, into uh, a gateway issue into getting people because it really you think about it it's like oh like all, all these people as are basically as, as saying, as as I get four stars, oh, you I know, the trans people like are trying to destroy women's sports. And then it's like, it's like well, how do like, we break, stop man. this? And it basically kind of slowly progresses like, oh, I think we should ban uh, health care for trans kids. And then it's like, oh, well, the trans people are like trying to groom and, and like, turn all the kids into trans and then it becomes oh well we need to like make it illegal to like express you know to like be trans around kids which then you know becomes like oh we just need to make it illegal to like be trans in general 
and then suddenly you have genocidal legislation. I see what you're saying. It, it just kind of, it's a small, like, kind of, like, stepping stones from, right, like, one to the other. It's similar to the FBI labeling people who are, like, like having extremely vague, wide-sweeping definitions for things. Like, a terrorist now is anyone who is very religious, who is uh, prepping. Like, anyone who, like, prepares things, does any kind of off-grid kind of anything. They're, that, that's a terrorist. Um, is like, that the official FBI definition? Like, these are groups of people who were included in, like, a memo by the FBI of, like, domestic terrorist, like, potential domestic terrorist, you know. What, what groups are you specifically referring groups. to? And it's prep it, preppers, um, religious people, um, because fundamentalism and extremism and stuff. So whether you're espousing any kind of violent rhetoric or not, it's just, well, you're religious, so you're partly kind of lumped in. Um, prepping. Well, even if you're not, like, hoarding a bunch of guns, even if you're just, like, canning food, and so you're still prepping. So, well, I mean, there's no... It, that's what I'm saying. It's a very vague definition. There was another group. Um, i trying to remember who it was. Like, it was, like, people, like, parents... There was a memo, like, FBI memo, again, uh, parents who, like, express, like, their, what am I, uh, dissatisfaction with school boards, that was, like, there was, like, an FBI thing, like, hey, we need to watch these people, like, you're not allowed to have an opinion at, the, at, at a school board meeting now? Sorry, um, this is an intense fight. You're good. So yeah, like, I just, it's, it's the same thing. It's the same government who on both sides, like, oh, not both sides, all sides, every, every facet, if you do not fit neatly into exactly the specific mold of the ideal American citizen that they would like you to be, so I, I guess I'm curious, what what hey, specific look, views like are, are you talking about that would like get someone like classified as a terrorist? Because honestly, like to me, I think there are certain groups that they're like that they don't take seriously as terrorists enough. Like groups like like the Proud Boys and shit, who like literally go and uh, like basically. Show like force right. so of like threats of violence. Are people like that are entirely ignored. Um, for instance, another another group of people that not much attention is paid to is the the and see there's NCIS. There, there's factual statement here that is, it, it, to some people, sounds racist, but it's not. Um, there's a lot of people that are attempting to come over the southern border who do some very, very bad things. Like, there are, like, literally thousands of uh, rapists, human trafficking. You're, uh, you're losing your support. Many around. of them are caught. Now, many, many more thousands of people who don't do those things go into the border every month. So it's not like a large percentage of them, but because of how many people are coming, it's a large number of them, if that makes sense. There's a large number so, of people. Right, right. So because there's a large number, the larger the number, even if it's a small percent, the larger the number, the larger that small group becomes, even if it stays the same yeah. percentage. Okay, so. Um, I lost my point. <laughs> They're not sending their best. 
Oh, so like, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying because there's a lot of people who aren't, aren't cartel, aren't gang members, aren't human traffickers, aren't you know these kinds of. Are you there? Your audio completely cut out. I don't know what happened. It like dropped and then tried to reconnect and it looked like it was reconnected but nothing was doing anything. Sounds like you're having some serious internet issues. Maybe. But uh, yeah, so... Like, similar to the Proud Boys, like, violent people. Like, let's not worry about them. People who are minding their business. Okay, um, for the most part... Trans people. But like any group, there's going to be people who are, you know, wackadoodles in any group of people. Yeah. So there's some well, wackadoodle I guess, trans people. I guess it right. depends. There's some wackadoodle religious people, sure. There's some wackadoodle preppers who are like, like storing explosives and making bunkers. I think a and, distinction yeah, has sure. to be made between like a group, like a... Uh, like a racial or gender gender uh or you know category like that in a group as in like a an actual organization as in like trans people or black people versus like uh the proud boys or you know uh, uh, the cartel like an actual not like a group that people are born into but a group right. that is like well, and by choice like not even choice. necessarily just uh, groups you're born into. I'm saying like those those are groups that are being targeted. People that are be that groups that people are born into, and also groups that people choose like like having any kind of self sustainability aside from the society, like prepping. Um, being and and this isn't. Real, I'm not saying this is limited to specifically Christianity, but like people who are like religious. Those people are like potential domestic terror threats. Religious people, just simply religious people. Like that's what it says. I, I guess it's weird to me because it doesn't like a. Uh, it doesn't seem like the FBI is like, you know, taking that like as a, like actually like taking action against just religious people. Like in what ways are they? Is the government like taking action against religious people? Well, because I mean, started. it seems to me that like a, a good portion of the government is like religious, and like people in the government are are religious. Um, and I don't know. I've never seen some, anyone be persecuted for their some Christian people, beliefs. Uh, that's why I said not necessarily specifically Christian. It just says religious. Yeah. Well, there's definitely, like, discrimination oh. against people like, you know, Muslim or, you know. Like I said, it's it's very vague terminology that at some point could be used to, you know, just force, basically, like I said, everybody into, like, a some cookie-cutter mold. And regardless of whether that's make everybody be Christian... Even though I'm Christian, I, I like Christianity, yeah, but I, I do not believe in Christianity by force. Yeah. 
I'm not. So even if it's my religion, I don't agree with that. Totally. And regardless of what religion, I don't like that idea of, oh, well, being overly religious makes you a terrorist. <laughs> I guess I haven't seen anything that implies that the government is saying that people who are overly religious are terrorists or treating them as terrorists. Well, there was... There was some of that kind of trying to, tr they tried to kind of play that card in California uh, with churches that wanted to hold service. And they said they would do like distancing and masks and stuff and whatever, whatever. And they like were shut down and fined and whatever. Well, I'm sorry, churches that did what were shut down on fine? Continued to hold services. And, the, and there was... Oh, like during the pandemic? Like, right. And there were several that said, like, we'll do distancing and we'll do masks and stuff. I mean, that to me doesn't seem like they were specifically targeting these people because they're Christian, but more specifically targeting... I mean, they, they did the same thing to, like, businesses that... that uh, did that but I mean, it wasn't a specific walmart, thing for like you look at walmart and people were all over walmart still like but why they were you allowed to required walmart masks people? right i think right. it was just the fact that saying, they weren't right? requiring masks is why no 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 churches mosques temples etc were allowed to hold services is what they tried to say you know i think the um the logic behind that, and you know, obviously, you can, uh, you know, that whether the logic is right uh, is a different thing, or whether you believe the logic, but the reason, the logic behind it was in terms of like the density of like people per square feet are like, it's substantially higher in, a, in like a church or something or a concert venue. I mean, that's why they close a lot of concert venues and stuff. Very, a lot higher in a church or a concert venue than it is at a supermarket. Like, you know, multiple people per square meter as opposed to like less than one person per square meter. It's just a lot higher density when everybody is kind of sitting motionless in one room, like crammed together like sardines versus like a pretty large supermarket that's got, you know, most Walmarts and shit have high ceilings there's a lot more like air in there and in terms of like cubic meters a lot like lower a lot lower density of like people well because i know there i know like uh, uh venues uh like a lot of people were pissed off because like concert venues and stuff they were doing the oh, same yeah, thing like threatening to like somebody. close them and shit a lot of concerts got canceled oh yeah i Believe me, I know I'm a live musician. It was fucking uh, it was a tough. I don't know. I guess they were fighting their team. Tough, uh, you know, year. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I we were lucky because uh, they did all out outdoor stuff, and we had, we did like quite a lot of outdoor concerts during that period of time. But I mean, honestly, yeah, it's it 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 feels like very, um drastic and unfair but i understand their reasoning behind it and why if if things like that were allowed to go on like normal the the spread would have been a lot worse than what it already already was because those things are like i mean i remember hearing that story about the the church that was um what was it it was like mm -hmm. somebody, it was like a choir practice or something, and one person had COVID, and then literally after that one, oh, good game. I wish it after that one um, session, like literally like 70, 80% of the people in there caught COVID from just that one person because they were so tightly packed together and like, you know, singing and stuff and breathing a lot. That's understandable. That's a fair point. Uh, 
Ooh, almost fell over. Be careful. Are you drinking? No. I was just grabbing my uh my pellet rifle out of the closet. And there's a lot of stuff on the floor. I have to like place my feet in specific spots. Face your feet. <laughs> Uh, All the weight on this rifle is the scope. <laughs> I might do one more, one more game. Uh, well, I'm gonna head out. Where are you going? I'm riding over to my ex roommates to grab my targets, and then I'm heading over to Tommyville. What the fuck is going on with the servers? Oh my god, oh, no, something is weird. majorly wrong. They don't like you. Might have to... That might have been my last one, because it won't let me select uh, US East. It is making me select Russia. <laughs> yeah, I think the servers just took a big dookie. <laughs> oh wait, there we go. That's we're back. Good. We're back, baby. And we're back. And we're back. That's not what I'm looking for. Okay, one more game. Uno mas. Uno mas video way go. Come on, Joe, stay for one more. I'm digging around finding stuff right now anyway. Like, okay. I'm still talking. I don't know where I set my phone. So... I don't even know where the stream is right now. Yeah, I'm here for right now. I'm still Good. looking for crap. Oh, hey, there's one thing. One fewer thing to find. Honestly, I still gotta finish hitting this. What are you hitting? Bonk. A bone? Yeah. Ooh, is the big one in here? Mm. Hey, that's what's up. That's exciting. Game starting yet? Yep. We're loading in right now.
turned. Hey. How good is the game? Uh, pretty uneventful so far. Okay. Uh, Nichols. Just chilling at Nichols. Ooh, that's... You should chill at Dimes instead. Dimes are way better than Nichols. Outside. Like an idiot. Uh -oh. About to go find out. Let's find out. Definitely heard a horse get aggro from this direction, but I don't see anybody. Compounds are right next to each other. Do y'all both know each other's there? I don't think so. I don't think there's anybody at Whitney right now, I'm not sure. But we're going to Arden. Yard. Are you, are you in Discord on your computer, I take it? What's that? Are you in Discord from your computer? My, uh, tablet. Gotcha. That's how I'm able to take you with me everywhere. I see. Yeah. It's magical. Oh, no. Look at you checking those windows. Oh, oh, oh baby. Oh. Now there's a hunter who really knows how to check their windows. on the game. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Oh, fuck me. God damn it. How did that guy drop down there? Like, where did he come from? It looked like he dropped from the top floor and just threw nothing. If Work in that heavy knife. And... 
That was rough. Yeah. One more guy alive. Man, we should have had this. If this dude doesn't clutch it, I need to test. <laughs> to get inside. Okay, he got the revive off of the other guy. There's still hope. A little bit. Bastards. survive. I'm dead. <laughs> that sucks. I guess there's still hope for me if I if they get the bounty. So I guess I should stay. <sighs> sitting there. And they're just sitting around, not doing shit. game. Showdown? What's that? One showdown? No, I mean, he's just trying to fight people from a crouched position in a crawl space, which is just never a good move. Because you can't go anywhere. Yeah, you're just you a sitting care. duck. Heal. Oh, I'm being revived. What the fuck? Somebody got a bounty or put you out or something.
playing this fucking game. Indeed. Indeed. I got, I got things to do. <laughs> I know. He's upstairs, he's upstairs. Well, we did it. Really? Fucking did it. And I got the last kill. Good job. So did y'all get both bounties or just one? We got both of them. Yeah, we had, somebody had one of them and then the other team had another one. And there's just one guy, one enemy left hiding in the house with the bounty. And I don't know why he got on the roof and tried to kill our, my partner, but I just sniped him. Boom. You done, son. Nice. And that's that. That is that. That's what it is. With this. That's what that is. It's that. Truly, that that is. <sighs> that was a good game to end on. Indeed. Almost to the extract. Barbecue pork sandwich. Ooh, thank you. Yum, yum, yum. Good 
Alright, well, GG's yeah. on that. GG's. Uh, good games. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have good games, you had good games. I mean, you yeah. vicariously had good games. I, I did, I, I watched some good games, yeah. Truly. Well, um... They're, they, they truly were good games. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well. Have a good rest of your day. I'll, you too, and I'll definitely be down for hunt next Sunday. All right. I'll see you around. All right, later. Later. Bye, everyone.